Patriots are ready to take up arms over the new ATF rule change, or so they say. And we've been covering this because we would like to be compliant with this new rule that is every bit of as effective as a law. Constitutional or not, it can still end you up possibly in prison for 10 years. You can get a $250,000 fine. And when we're discussing this with people and debating them, they get upset. And they're, you know, some of these more crazy radical individuals are saying, yeah, they can come try that. But then they're going to have to take my arms over my dead body. So they're going to have a what? A firefight with the ATF and then mm -hmm. a SWAT team that inevitably shows up mm -hmm. and takes them out of the equation. So either way, you will not be there for your family. You have to give up your freedom, destroy your family, destroy your own life over this rule. And there are lines that you sure, certainly should not cross. But the fact is, they say, I will not comply. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to tell you, you are already in compliance. If you're a gun owner, you've probably already got complied by getting a background check for your firearm. That was you complying. If you have a concealed carry permit, you are complying. Mm -hmm. So this whole entire bravado, this thumping your chest saying, oh, it's just a rule. It's not a law. I don't have to this, that, and the other. Yeah, um, this isn't exactly the hill that I'm going to choose to die on, but I will fight with everything I have and support the people that are currently in the lawsuits to get this changed. This mm -hmm. is clearly unconstitutional, a massive infringement on our rights, and it's wrong. But I, you're really not going to be fighting back with a firefight. That's such BS. And even if they did, that would just further infringe on our rights in the future. Well, and I do wonder if there's somehow like you can, if it's like a class action lawsuit or a petition or what we would need in order to get more attention because it seems like going to our legislator and making public comment and you know making all these videos like there there's more that we can do but again it always seems like it's not effective yeah but then when we go specifically to the atf ruling there's already obviously lawsuits in the works there yes and so this is very likely going to make it to the supreme court if mm -hmm. an injunction is likely to be granted i'd say 50 50 chance it's granted before it has to go to the supreme court if an injunction is granted then no need to comply until you know it makes it to the supreme court the supreme court would have to rule against gun owners in order to comply but this is kind of how most revolutions start and what i mean by that is let's say let's take this to the most radical ending let's say some of these groups of people that say they're absolutely not going to comply they actually stand by their own words mm -hmm. and then groups of these get together refusing to comply and they start actually fighting active firefights against the people trying to enforce these laws. Mm -hmm. They get together and say, come and get them. And so you have a bunch of good citizens getting killed or you have a bunch of, you know, tyrannical boot, uh, jack boots coming in and stealing their weapons. Either way, it escalates quickly. And then typically in the first wave, what happens is the first revolutionaries get killed out very quickly, stomped out. And then the state will come in and step down on rights even harder. So... Normal people are sitting there like, well, that's an overreaction. It's not time to take up arms. It's not time for a revolution. This is a mm -hmm. little bit premature. And then over the next years, they will crack down so fully on the rights of their citizens inside of these countries that finally the normal everyday American will say, well, it wasn't too far then, but now it certainly is. So that inevitable civil war that they wanted, that revolution that they wanted to kick off, that is no guarantee of success, mind you, they will get it. Although most likely the original founders of this movement will already be dead or imprisoned by then. Mm -hmm. So this whole entire thumping your chest saying, I will not comply. They can come take it over my dead body over your pistol brace. I want you to show me all your automatic weapons that you have that supposedly you were never going to comply. And you're going to keep those, all the illegal firearms, all the explosives that you have, which I fully think the second amendment protects right now. There's nothing in the second amendment that says you cannot own a missile launcher is that saying that that's smart i don't know but they sh if they want that to change they should have to go in and make an amendment to the constitution <laughs> they're absolutely infringing on the one constitutional amendment that says shall not be infringed the only one mm -hmm. so we should have all of these things but we don't and in the meantime you you have to say is it actually logical it's just a bunch of bs people just thumping their chest saying that but I'm never complying with this. But for right now, that, and that's the problem, is people's mindset. So if the ATF shows up to your doorstep with a warrant saying, let me see let me see all of your weapons, yes. if you don't comply, like they can arrest you, or it's, I mean, if you decide that you're going to defend yourself against this tyran tyrannical government, yeah. again, everybody's going to read in the news, like, oh, that, guy, that guy's a little crazy. They had a warrant. I mean, he must have done something wrong. That's people's mindset right now. And so as individuals, we are very weak. And so if we are not united, 
it's and you know starting a revolution which we aren't yeah. right now there's places for us to flee like if new mexico we have a, a half dozen laws on the books that could take away all of our weapons we have to reduce all of our magazines that several different types of calibers like it's it's insane yeah, we may have to leave the guns. state and on the ATF front, if the ATF does show up at your door, whether you have an NFI item or not, like if you have a suppressor or something, you do not have to grant them access to your home. You open the door if you want, and you say, you know, they'll ask you a question. They might say if you have an NFI item or not, it does not matter. The only thing that will cause them to come into your home or the only way you have to let them in is with a warrant. Mm -hmm. Regardless if you have the NFI items or not, if they start asking questions, your answer should be, do you have a warrant? When they say no, say, please get off my property right now and close the door. End of story. Mm -hmm. And that's even if you want to talk to them in the first place. I would almost say if you see them in uniform on your door and they're not knocking on it, yelling they have a warrant, don't, don't even answer. answer it. Don't get answer your lawyer. it. Yeah. End of story. Like they can talk to your lawyer. They don't need to talk to you. They're just looking for a reason to put law-abiding citizens in jail. So it seems.